since many years, as one of the world's leading manufacturers of drill bit grinding machines, the Kindle Company is located right at the foot of the Black Forest in Germany. The drill grinding machine BSG20, manufactured to the highest precision, is able to regrind nearly all drill bits with range from 1 to 21 millimeters, that means 0.04 to 7 8 inches. The BSG20 drill bit grinding machine combines easy handling, accuracy and multifunction usability for standard high-speed steel bits, step drills, tungsten carbide bits, brad point and wood bits. The machine is delivered in two parts. They are connected in the middle by an Allen screw. First, you set the lip angle of the drill on the base plate. For example, 130 degrees for aluminium or 118 degrees for steel. Insert the drill in the prism. Keep the drill projected about 15 millimeters outside the top of the prism. Next step. Line the cutting edge of the drill bit parallel to the double lines on the prism clamp. If you set the bit slightly more to the left, you will have a larger clearance angle. Turn it to the right and the relief angle will be smaller. Set the prism on the prism rest and grind the first cutting edge of the drill bit by swiveling the clamp up and down. Turn the front feet towards the grinding wheel until the first side of the bit is completely done. Note the actual scale mark or feed on the knurled nut and feed backwards. Turn the prism for 180 degrees including the fixed drill inside and feed forwards by slowly swiveling to the identical scale mark. Left hand drills were adjusted parallel to the both graduation lines on the side. Then the drill grinding procedure is the same as for right hand drill bits. The top part of the step drill is adjusted and to be ground as a standard twist drill. The step itself is also aligned parallel to the double lines and then ground on the right side of the grinding wheel using the prism tuning method. On four face drill bits the relief angle is fixed with a knurled screw on the prism clamp rest. Use the upper hole for the relief and the lower hole for the cutting edge setting. Turn the front feet towards the grinding wheel and use motor side feet to grind from the left to the right over the drill edge. The second side is done in the same way. To sharpen drill bits with an 180 degrees angle like wood bits or sheet metal bits, set the prism support to the 180 degrees line on the base plate. Brad point bits are set in the same way, cutting edge to the double lines and, as shown, ground with grinding wheel dressed 45 degrees on the right side of the wheel. Drill bits with spirals on the periphery, namely wood bits, can be ground by using a profiled 5 mm thick grinding wheel. Start on the left outside spiral and move the grinding wheel with the motor feet inwards to the center. Turn the prism clamp to the second side and feed the motor back to the second outside spiral. To ensure that both sides are equal, turn back to the first side again. To sharpen Forstner wood bits, put the bit into the prism and place the clamp on the prism rest. Fix the clamp with a knurled screw in the lower hole. Turn the bit in the clamp more to the right in order the outside cutter cannot be touched by the grinding wheel and fix. Grind the main cutting edges by feeding the grinding wheel across the cutting edge using the motor feet. To sharpen the pre-cutters on the outside, reset the bit in the clamp that the spool is lined up perfectly with the grinding wheel. The spools are ground by swiveling the clamp up and down. Even end mills can be sharpened with a candle drill grinding machine BSG20. 
line its cutting edge parallel to the lines and place the prism on the prism rest, already adjusted to 180 degrees. Fix the clamp in the upper hole. Grind the bit as shown by moving the motor from the outside to the center. To sharpen the cutting edge, repeat the same procedure with the lower hole setting. To grind tungsten carbide drill bits, replace the standard corundum grinding wheel by the diamond grinding wheel. Open the Allen screw placed below the motor, turn the motor for 90 degrees and tighten again. Set the lip angle as recommended by the drill manufacturer to 118 or 130 degrees. Depending on the material to be drilled, fix the clamp in lower or upper hole. To get optimal grinding results, the grinding wheel should be dressed from time to time with a Kindle diamond grinding wheel dresser. Various grinding wheels, a magnifying glass and a wheel dresser are available as accessories.